Here we have the model for a permanent magnet DC motor with a gear reduction. There are two energy storing elements, the I element that represents the inductance and the I element that represents the rotational inertia. Both are an integral causality so we should end up with two differential equations. One for lambda and a second for h. The lambda dot equation comes from the summation of voltages at this one junction. These three bonds provide input voltages to calculate lambda dot as an output. H dot comes from the summation of moments at this one junction. The left and the right bonds or inputs used to calculate H dot as an output. We'll start deriving our differential equations, beginning with the lambda dot equation. Lambda dot is equal to the summation of voltages. We will add En of T because the power is into the junction from the left bond. We will subtract R divided by L times lambda because the power is out of the junction in the top bond. And we will subtract Km over J times H on the right bond because the power is out. The other differential equation comes from the summation of moments on the rotational inertia. H dot is equal to, we'll add Km over L times lambda because the power is pointing into the one junction and we will subtract N1 over N2 squared times beta over J times H because the power is out of the junction. Made with DoodleCast Pro.